Two chains, two hoes, trap jumping, two phones, two ops, two poles, big pockets, bang rolls. And my business touching nose, got a lot of pros, fucked a lot of hoes, cause I sell a lot of dough. Two chains, two hoes. I'm Mr. DG. DG Dirtbag Gang, if y'all ain't know what DG stand for. <laughs> I'm a rapper for the side. I'm in the Saginaw, Michigan, 989. And basically, shit, I'm just a cool, cool, laid back dude. Everybody probably be thinking I'm just some. Some people probably think I'm a hood dude and you know, all that, but no, I ain't no hood person. Some people ask me if I'm a hood type cat, but no. I stay out of that shit. I ain't no game banger, y'all. I thinking that. <laughs> I just make music, work two jobs, shit, make beats. Shout out to my nigga Ben Boss. He helped me make beats. Oh, hit me up. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's So, what's going on, man? What you got coming on? It's like, this is a mixtape? Yeah. Tell us about that. Like, this is a mixtape. This is basically um, a collab mixtape. Me and him obviously is shit. The, the title self explanatory. This is a mixtape. This is a mixtape. Yeah, nah, but this is B I S F. Yeah. Tell us about some of the features on um, this is a mixtape. I, I can't get real well all over there. I just know we make so much music. I know we make so much music. Like, I be forgetting half of my song. Like, we was just making music last night. We made a whole bunch of shit. Facebook criticized the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? He was this you, like motherfuckers making little pictures and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how you feel about that shit? I love it. I love it. Every time somebody hating on me, it's just shit, free promotion. Get up promote me. Just making music and make you want to go harder or what? Yeah, I know you're working and you're getting better at it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I came from a long way. I, I really I really took rap serious in 2015, I want to say. Or 16, I think. I can't remember. That's when I dropped Finisher the rent. So, see, how you get the name Finisher? Who made you pick that name? Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell what was I thinking. I want to say playing 2K13. And, um... Don't you got a little thing? What was it called? The little, um, what was it called? The little skill? The little badge. It was like a little badge that said finisher and shit. My nigga Duck on some I was like, finisher? And then I just said shit, I'll just keep that. Finisher DG, man. What y'all, what made y'all start the dirt bag game? I can talk to niggas. I can talk to you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, as a, like, me growing up, my mom used to always tell her, I do something, my mom get mad and shit. She like, you a dirt bag. She told me that a lot of times. And then I just said, I'm finna get shit. Just take that. So you see you on Facebook, you be calling them hoes, I got tired of getting played. Talking about how you just getting played and you talk about it. And they just think they ahead of the game. Uh, first, I, I had plenty of girlfriends back then, <laughs> but I ain't cheat on my first girl to like my last relationship. You make me cheat on her? Shit. They said she was a hoe and I, felt, I saw a hoe in her stuff. They said Yeah. But then again, you can't go off with every, everything you hear, but obvious things was coming to my face. Like, oh, so you were saying you had some proof? Yeah, I, I had some proof. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I do girls like this shit is, like, my homeboys got played too. Like, I take, they heartbreaks way worse than they do. Like, damn, bitch, I, I know how my nigga felt about you. And then you want to go ahead and play them like that. I saw it too many times. I said, yeah, these females ain't shit. Yeah, that shit is <laughs> Y'all got girlfriends. <laughs> nah, I'm I saying I got, a, I got a girlfriend, but <laughs> I'm saying it to the club. Oh, somebody got some animosity towards cuffing, man. I wanted to. Funny you gotta talk about this. I think I was a dirtbag. I did. That's like, you got females too childish. I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm mature more than females, and they just, they get some good shit. Drink some milk that's lactose intolerant. It be sweet. Like y'all be putting sugar in y'all shit. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we read on? 
Tell us how it's like working with other artists on Saginaw. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it'd, be, it'd be same and risky sometimes. Like, I don't know, like, cause, cause I be listening to a lot of people music up in Saginaw, and there's some people I never even heard of. But then again, I'm like, I don't know, cause I don't know how you be, cause a lot of people talk about like riding niggas and all that shit. So you gotta be prepared and shit. Like I said, I don't know who after me. It's probably people that just won't be going off the face of the earth. So I don't know. It's, it's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met G, I thought his ass was like a, a cocky ass trying to flex on niggas all the time. Because, like, like, that's all like, yeah, how his cool. music was. Yeah. I'm like, but turn off, that nigga cool as fuck. I fuck with him, man. If I, if I need him on a song, I hit him on G, bro. He trying to hop on the song. You know, I'm with it. His ass. Come on, right over that That's a motherfucking nigga. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say some slept on that I'm about to name, but like, like Loso, he cold as fuck. Nino, he cold. But it seems like they, they ain't like blown up how, how they should be. I feel like they should have more exposure than that, but like, be higher than they, what they really are. If everybody came together and start working with each other, I know, I know it's a business, but like. It be, it be people out here that, that want to work with other people, but then they, they, they want to, they just want that money. Like, if you want to work with somebody, just, shit, fuck the money, just link up and just make some shit. Yeah. Let me know. Ain't rub them shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, you're putting a barrier up there. So yeah. Like, like it, it's, it's, I don't know, I think it's people that want to work with me, but, like, they feel like it's, they, Oh no, like clout clout is a thing and it's good. Clout is a, a powerful thing. If my clout was higher, I think I'd be at I think I'd be one of the top one of the people at the top of the main person I wanna work with. That I know for a fact we we'll, we we'll make a big ass banger is HBK Bone. So you start to him? Yeah, I talked to him before. Shit, we just ain't never get, to, get back in touch. And every time somebody hating on me, it's just shit, free promotion. Y'all promote me. And, shit, I, and I just start getting um, paid for my music on like Spotify, Apple, iTunes, all that. Even YouTube paying me now. So when they sharing the shit and uh, all the views go up, I get I get paid for every view and stream I get. So let's see. Use me as a marketing strategy. Say he got bands, me and my glizzy, go and fucking get that. I don't bought that shit, see, I don't talk. I ain't with that chit chat, catch his love. That is a wrap. Can we see it again? I hate you in that whole ass. Bitch! Rad man shit. Bitch!